we're going to go pick up a truck today. Ain't that right, Grandpa? That'd be the story. What year that'd is be, it? That'd be Tom's story. What year is it? Uh, it's old one. An old one? Old one. You don't know the year? Uh, no, I didn't pick it. So, I didn't tell any of you guys, but I ended up coming to my grandpa's. So, here we are in Cortez, Colorado. We're going to go pick up a uh, truck today. It's an old Butterfly Hood Dodge. And uh, we're at the farm right now. This tractors and stuff are around here. So, we trickle charged a battery uh, for about a day and a half now. You can see right there. And uh, we're going to go see about picking up this truck. So, hopefully, we can get some good footage today. We gotta get into town so he can get voted today. Gotta go vote. Go ahead. We tried yesterday, but he wasn't able to get his vote in because it was past the deadline of time or something. Or they had to close early for something. So he's gonna get the get into town so he can get his vote in today. So we're in a hurry. How do you know? What? I We made it to Dove Creek, Colorado, and it looks like that's the truck we're after, right there. Well, let's go have a look at it, shall we? There's no tag on there, so we don't know when it was last registered. A little bit of damage on this front bumper. Nice, beautiful round headlights. A little bit of damage there. Looks really good. A couple marker lights up top clearance lights out so apparently it's called a Fargo a Dodge 500 Fargo or at least that's what it looks like to me so let's see if we can get in there let's see what we can see Ooh. It opens up like that Look, there we go. That's what we're after. Have a look at this. Can't really see it too well on camera, and I'm not even sure what kind of engine it is. Maybe my grandpa knows. But apparently this thing runs. Maybe if we open up the other side, we can see it a little bit better. I'm pretty sure I got an air filter for this thing. I wonder why this coolant hose is coming out and coming up and around this and then back in. Seems a little strange, but I'm sure it's stuff that can get fixed. Looks like it's got a box on it. 
Some more lighting. And that muffler coming out of the intake manifold. Coming down the engine here. And then they just put a little muffler box on. That's kind of cute. I don't know what kind of differential they got. A rear end back there. I don't know how well it is to see on camera. A little set of duels. Nice box. Here we can see when it was last registered now on the back plate. Looks like 2003. Looks like our fuel tank right there underneath this box. Looks to me like a fuel tank. Let's see what the inside looks like, shall we? There's a door handle here. Set of mirrors on there. Oh, look at this. Seat's a little messed up. Let's see what gauges we got. Amps, fuel, speedometer. I'm sure those are all original. 79,362 miles. Looks like over there we got a water gauge and I'm guessing oil pressure maybe. That last one's oil pressure. Got some switches over here on the dash. Key for the ignition. I'm not sure what these switches are. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Here's the old transmissions. Let's see. That must be a brake. Well, browning. I'm not sure if this has got a browning transmission on it. I guess we could probably crawl under and find out. But, um, looks like high and low. I'm wondering if every gear's got high and low or not. I see a blower over there and a heater core. Looks like it'd be pretty easy to replace some of this stuff. Splicer. Looks like the headlight switch is on the bottom. On the floorboard here, so you can... This is your brake, I guess. Headlight switch, high and low beam, maybe. Hard to see, there we go. I'm not sure what this switch is. Maybe that switch is nothing. We got a little rim over there. So, that's with the one side open. I guess we can open this other side. Let's see what we can see on this side of the engine, shall we? An old Dodge 500 Fargo. Ooh, this one opened really, really nice here. Looks like uh, this is right where the battery sits, I believe. Which we did bring in our negative and positive terminals. So we're going to set up a battery and see if we can get this puppy fired up. If you know what kind of engine this is, comment below. Not sure what kind of carb is on it. Beautiful. It's going to be fun. All right. Let me shut the camera off and go help Grandpa. He's over there getting parts. So I'll show you one last time with both of them open. So you can see the old butterfly head. And I think he said that top opens up too and goes straight up. So I don't know. I think it does. Looks like it is on a hinge. So I'm pretty sure it does. All right. He's got a pair of gloves. He's getting ready. Grandpa's over here. Hi, Grandpa. What you getting ready? I'm trying to find a socket. A socket? Okay. I'm going to shut the camera off and give Good you a idea. Yeah. I gave him a tour of the truck. What's that? Oh, you gave him a tour of the truck, huh? Yep. Okay, he knows the truck better than I do. This. So we got the battery all plugged in now. And he's over there. Working on putting a new fuel pump in. Once we get that, what else we got to do after the fuel pump? 
Crank it. I guess we're gonna try to fire her up. I was gonna say that, but I figured I'd ask because who knows what else he planned on doing. Try and see if we can get all I can. Please. Brought the new one over. Did it come with new gaskets or did we have to make our own? Oh, it did. Okay. Put some sealer on here. Come up and let me do it. Oh, it's just stiff. That's what you meant. I thought you meant you. I thought you weren't doing too good. You just meant it's getting too stiff to do. I got you. Why don't I sit down here? Yeah, it's got a nice, it's already bent. It's like bent out like the guy that already replaced one of these bent it out on purpose just to sit there. Yeah. after the cab there's a they just added a muffler to it oh I see that <laughs> kind of weird huh that's the way they do them oh so it never ran back even farther than that it could have one time but it didn't doubt it seems like it put too much heat right there right before the differential if it I would want to. but apparently they didn't think of that back then when they designed this thing they don't put much heat out these engines what'd you say this engine was 318 a 318 dodge Mopar? Yep. Was Mopar around back then? Dodge was. So it wasn't even called Mopar then, it was called just Dodge, right? I call it just Dodge. Well, yeah, but you know I Mopar. Be wrong. Mopar owns Dodge. I'm just asking. I don't know. Okay. I don't know either, that's why I was asking. It takes an honest man to say he doesn't know. Do you know what? Uh, hose cutters are? Um, I believe so. The red handle? Yeah. Knife on it? Uh huh. It's in that front toolbox in the truck. I said there were some hose cutters over here. Uh, oh, here we go. 
I guess it was right here the whole time. You are, sir? Yeah. What'd you send him after? Screwdriver. Flathead or Phillips? Flathead, bro. I think this hose was just a problem all along. So the fuel pump might have worked? It might have worked. I don't think it's going to hurt to have a new fuel pump on it though. Not at this age when it's 60 years old. Even my 86 Chevy had to have a new fuel pump. It was the original. I couldn't figure out why it was lifting fuel to the top. Turns out it was just a fuel pump. Cute little bugger. Ever since Chevy switched to the fuel injection engines on their new on their 350s, yeah. Even their even their brand new 350s that don't need the fuel pump anymore because they're all fuel injected on top. Even the the brand new 350 engines have a hole yeah. where the fuel pump goes. Same way, crasher. Must just be because they're same mold they've been using for years. Why change it, right? Good out. Good operation, so. Yeah, they just cap her off. But it's still cool to just see the old fuel pump hole still there. My knife. Um, here you are. and pull this one off. No. Little fuel line. It's got a whole roll of brand new fuel line. Look at that, that's all bad fuel on my fingers. Yeah, that's bad fuel in that fuel line. Yeah. I got it here too. Nice sticky, isn't it? What you looking for, a flare? Yep, right there. Oh, I was clamped. You found them. You know how long to make it, or are you just going to measure it to go? I put that on first, huh? One of the other, on the other end of the hose is what? Five feet away, so yeah, probably. <laughs> Got her on there. Need your screwdriver now? There you are, sir. Did you already check the oil? Yeah, it's way low. Oh. And how much did you bring? I'm gonna try to thread it. I can see where it's getting wedged up top, but there's really not much you can do. There's not much room to play with with the bracket for that um, alternator. Kind of almost feels like it's unsafe rubbing up there against that, but I'm sure it's been doing it for many years, huh? Yep. What do you need? Half inch. Half inch. Um, there you are. Get to it, Mother. Uh, this other one is a 13 millimeter. You want it? The one's a half inch. Oh, there's another half. Got it. Okay. Did you see that, too? No. And now it's gone, huh? It's gone now. I was going to hand it to somebody back here. We'll get it there. The 
coolant was completely empty and we just filled it with regular water. So either somebody drained this before they let it sit for a long time, which is good, or we're gonna have another problem. So we'll figure it out once we get it fired up, but at least we got it filled with regular water. We checked the oil, it's really low. So we're gonna put some oil in this. It turns out you put the oil in right there. And we'll see what happens. I'd leave it longer than that. There's the oil short. Oh, I got a hole in it, Dan. Yeah, I know, that's pretty short, but okay, I guess it'll work. If it don't work, I got another quart. That's true. <laughs> it should work. I thought that knife was sharp. It needs sharpened. Shit, I could uh, put a lot of pressure on it. Get to go. Just tough plastic, shell oil. Cenex oil or no oil, right? Am I right? <laughs> no tell or tear, no oil. I work for Cenex, so we put Cenex oil in our trucks. I just wanted a lesson. I should have made it taller. I tried to warn you. <clears throat> well, we've still got that other cord if you want to go for it, but the fact that it's showing, I, I probably ain't going to take much more. Probably only going to be another quarter two, another quarter two before it's filling in. Yeah. Just right. You'll just run out or? No. Oh, you're just saying you think you're good now. Uh, give, her, give her a second or two before checking it this time. Let her settle down a little, huh? Uh -huh. What's that? Yeah. Uh -huh. That way we're getting an accurate reading. It's 318 industrial. That's what the engine is? Yeah, to me it looks a lot bigger than the C18. See how loose this radiator cap is? It wasn't before. Well, that's what I'm wondering. Oh, well, I got you. Maybe it will go. Yeah, nope, it won't. Yeah. How tight was this when you took it off first, John? A little more. A little more. Then why you gonna check it next time? We're just gonna fill off the gallon and leave it. Why not? Is that turning? Well, it should be the starter then, I guess, if it turned like that. We'll go the wires behind that switch. Those aren't the wires behind the switch. Well, I thought I had it. Did it try to start before? No. It didn't. No, it didn't. I never tried it before. Because I know the battery wasn't no good. Okay, but now we got a new battery, but we're not even getting a click. So I'm thinking it's something electrical between that battery. Well, I'm thinking. If the battery's even connected right. I should have a gold meter over somewhere. All right, let's go look. Somehow prime the fuel pump, or it's pretty much impossible, huh? Yeah. Here you go. Well, getting after it it's it's turning over really good. Take just a little bit of ether and spray in it. That can of ether we were cleaning up earlier. 
You getting excited? No. Why? Once it's running? I'm trying. Right where that air filter is. Well, whatever that is, oil filter. No one. Spray it in the crack. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, it sure felt it, didn't it? Go ahead. Same place. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't do more either. Just try it. She wants to. She wants to. Just a little bit more either. Not near as much as that first time. Whoa. No, but we know the fuel pump works. It's brand new, right? Yep. We know we got battery as of right now. <sighs> Hopefully it doesn't. Come on, baby! Because that stuff can blow that engine up. Yeah, but you do it all the time to a semi. Yeah, because it's a diesel engine. <laughs> oh, I guess so. <laughs> that, it'll just, but it's not even good for a semi. I mean, it's turning over all right, isn't it? Yeah. That's his. It's his? Yep. Probably. His is good, nice knife. I gave it to him. What you thinking? Nice looking dog there. Thank you. It's big one. Yes, it is. <laughs> Got any battery in here? No fuel. No fuel at all yet? Thumb right here. And See if it's pulling. See if it's uh, pushing. Pushing. Hello, brother. I'm over at the truck. Feels like it is pushing. I'm over at the truck trying to get. Uh, gas ring come up in the carburetor over at Dove Creek. We well, may not have no fuel in the fuel tank. So we're trying to get the cap off the fuel tank, which is right on there. And we cannot get the cap off, so we don't know whether there's fuel in it or not. And even if we had fuel, which we don't, we go get some though, but even if we had fuel, we can't get the damn cap off to get fuel in it, so I guess we are stuck for the moment trying to figure out how to get that cap off of there. Maybe, I don't know, I'll filter wrench is probably too big. I don't know, we'll see what it comes up with. Looks like some vice grips did the job, huh? Of all things to use on a set pipe wrench, you ought to be able to look ahead now, Johnny. I'm going to show it in there three inches. There's no gas in there. Nothing. Not a single drop. Not one little drop. But if you take the hose out and drain it dry, I can actually catch it on camera this time. No. Anyway, you lost a chance. So, Ed, explain what you did. Well, I got a 3 h hose. Put it in the tank, 
pressurized it, put blowing on it, and it, gas ring come out of the hose. And I actually assumed that he would have to suck it because see how hard it is to get under there where that goes. This is where the fuel goes in. There we go, we can see it. Well, to try to get that gas can held with the tiny spout and hold it up the whole time and get it to go, we just decided to use this fuel line that we already had to replace the fuel filter. I mean the fuel pump. So we decided to just put it high and let it siphon up. And he did good. He just pressured the hose and it came out without ever getting a drop. Pressured tank. He did good. What I assumed, he had to suck it with his mouth and get a mouthful of gas and he outwitted me. And now he's worn out. How you doing, John? That's it. Just That's not it yet. So hopefully, once we get the gas in here, it'll fire up. It was turning over pretty nice. I'm guessing it's going to fire up. We're just going to have to probably waste our battery juice now trying to get the fuel from the tank all the way up. We probably should have put gas in it right away. That's on a two barrel. Two barrel carb? Yep. It's not designed for Well, this. right now, it's got uh, 240 in it. Weed car. We're going to wash them out halfway to use it. You going up top? Or from the side? From the side. How you gonna tell whether it's uh, pumping you got that fuel line on? Well, I asked you three times if you wanted me to take it off. Not yet. I'm pretty sure this is gonna start a fire. It's dripping out of there really bad. Want me to put some more gas in it? Yeah. Pour right in the top of that hole. That hole right there. Pour it in there. Oh, shit. It's not much. Go ahead. Them gauges work? Yeah. Your efforts move up? I have about 60 pounds. Oh. Boy, it's smelling good, isn't it? Yeah. Want me to raise the idle? Or I don't think I need to.
little bit of oil leaking out of the exhaust manifold. I figured that's probably why I was out of oil, but it's not really that bad, but it is smoking pretty bad. You have blinkers. Well, they've been turning off and on while I was... Yeah, they were on the butterfly hood. I'm going to kill the camera because I'm going to put that air filter, oil filter, air filter, oil filter thing back on. I'll be back. I don't got nowhere to go until I get ready to go. Okay. Just want to make sure that the yeah, clutch is working. Yeah. Just test it a little. Yeah. This is this a browning? Why is there two levers? High low? That's the dump box. Oh, okay. Push it forward and dump. So that's not PTO? No, here's PTO. So it is PTO driven then. Did it turn off? No, turn on. It didn't turn off. Is it idling? It is idling. So we got a clutch, but no brakes? Show us. I hear it winding up. Might just need some oil. I hear it. Do you hear it? On the right clutch, too. Yeah. Sure is. I hear it both. I can't get too old when you hit my leg, did Oh, to hit the brake? I hear it winding. Hey, what about that brake lever right over there to your left? Yeah, try it. Move it, then maybe the hydraulics will go back. Try it. Push it up. Oh, so it was already released, huh? Yeah. Okay. Should we find a reservoir somewhere? or how, where, Where's the hydraulic tank for that? Do you know? Well, sure. well, you want to kill it so we can put that oil filter back on? Oil air filter thing? Yeah. I, I, I'm too scared to reach my hands anywhere around there. And you're just getting it way too damn hot to put that back on. So if you don't mind just killing it for a minute, we can get it back on there and then you can fire up and we can figure out where to put some oil on them hydraulics. Napa's closed. Heck, this thing even got a seatbelt over here. Yeah, it's going to come out of there. I'm surprised that uh, the truck this old has seatbelts. 68, somebody put them in there. Oh yeah, because it wouldn't have been stock factory, would it? No. Well, this thing might might top out at 40 mile an hour, 45. It's not best to run 80. Really? But you all. It run 80. It says 90. Or no, it says 100 on it. Uh, okay, just because it says 100. It'll run 100. Okay. Okay, so we got the uh, air oil filter thing back on. We're getting ready to take the battery out. We actually have two batteries with us, so. We're going to uh, take them both with us, and uh, I guess once we figure out how to get the brakes working, we're going to come back get this and get her home. We're about, oh, I'd say an hour and 20 minutes from the house. 7-3 from Dove Creek, Colorado.
There's four total. We've been seven or eight of them out here one time. Oh, 